Many people believe that climate change is a problem for their children and grandchildren late in the century. But the science is very clear that climate change, damaging climate change, is already with us. And that's why it's urgent that we begin the transition to a lower carbon economy now. The carbon challenge facing the energy industry is one of the most difficult challenges humanity has ever faced. We have an energy system based on fossil fuels, which the modern economy has thrived upon. We are learning that the carbon dioxide emissions from that system are gradually building up in the atmosphere and threatening the climate system that we know. We need technologies that provide the energy that we need to use while still reducing the greenhouse gas emissions. And those can be divided into fossil fuel technologies and non-fossil fuel technologies. Those are the create alternatives to the fossil energy system are the nuclear power, wind, solar, hydropower. Those that modify the fossil energy system include carbon dioxide capture and storage, where this carbon dioxide that is created when you burn a fossil fuel does not go to the atmosphere. Gas can be better than coal in its carbon footprint, and certainly the energy efficiency technologies that let us use less fossil energy for the same purposes, like a more efficient automobile. There are many technologies that are available now and that are gradually being scaled up. Wind and solar energy are being scaled up at a very rapid rate. Nuclear power, I think, is surprising us with the high costs and it may not be ready for the, for the role people once thought it would play. Carbon dioxide capture and storage is being demonstrated in a number of projects around the world. Well, gas is playing an increasing role in the energy system. It's displacing coal in many sectors. It's also the fossil fuel that is being turned to most in the incremental uses of energy. The primary impediment to solving the carbon and climate problem is that the alternatives to fossil fuels are still more expensive than fossil fuels. So the simplest way to start solving the problem is to put a price on carbon emissions. When you put a price on carbon, the market figures out the relative attractiveness of the alternatives. And when you do that, all kinds of technologies come into play more competitive than they are right now. It's a free-for-all. Markets like free-for-alls. But you can't do it at a token level of, of, of a carbon price. You have to talk about something more like a dollar a gallon than a penny a gallon. In the next 30 years, I think there will be a massive transformation of our energy mix. I expect to see large-scale deployment of renewables, particularly renewable electricity. I see a, an increasing uh, growth in the efficiency of our vehicle fleet, and I expect to see a wholesale global replacement of coal electricity with natural gas electricity. There's going to be many contributions from many different alternatives. Renewable energy, gas displacing coal. In the efficiency area, the technological part is by no means played out the efficient light bulb, the efficient refrigerator and furnace and air conditioner, the well-designed building. Uh, all of those are frontiers still in spite of having been in front of us so, for so very long.